and Shalom. All right, this is the brother my Aquadar and the brother Bakar. Shalom, Shalom. Uh, here to bring you your Hawa Ratazah Edifying video. All right, before we get into this video, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to, to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakakwadash. All right, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Peace, salutations, and love to you, Aki. I'm out there that's pushing this truth and sincerity. All right, we're going to title this video, all right, The Coming of Yahweh Shai, man. All right, because um, a lot of you people out there got it misconstrued, man. All right. The image of Yahweh Shah, all right? And the coming of Yahweh Shah, man. All right, y'all believe that Yahweh Shah, we are early called Jesus Christ. All right, it's coming back, man. Happy with joy and love, man. All right. Go ahead, up. This revelation, chapter 1, verse 7. Come. Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him. And the scripture say he's coming with clouds, and every eye shall see him, man. Those clouds represent those chariots, man. All right, the, the Lord is coming on a big, gigantic chariot, man. All right, and every eye shall see him, man. All right, everyone around the world is going to be able to see the coming of Yahweh Shah, man. All right, go ahead. Up. It say, and they also which pierced him, all kindreds of the earth shall be be well because of him, even so. Yeah, all eyes shall see him, even those who pierced him, man. All right, because those Romans that pierce Yahweh Shah, all right, they're here back reincarnated, man. All right, because if it, if it wasn't the such thing as reincarnation, those Romans will be 2,000 years old, man. And we know that man cannot live that long, man, except he be reincarnated, man. All right, and every eye shall see him because those same people who lay hands on the Lord are back for judgment, man. All right, those same uh, uh, Israelites that uh, uh, put the thumbs up, man, for Yahweh Shah to be crucified, they're back for judgment, man. So y'all going to see the one you crucified in his new coming, man. You got something? Con. This Acts chapter 1, verse 9. Con. It say, and when he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up, and a cloud received him out of their sight. And while they looked, while they looked fast, while they looked steadfastly towards heaven, as he went up, behold, two men stood by them in white apparel, which also said, Ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? This same Yahweh Shai, which is taken up from you into heaven, so, so shall, shall so come in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven. So yeah, the, the same way Yahweh Shai left, you know that that's the same way he gonna come back. You know, quick man. You know, he 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 got to send it up to the clouds. You know, um, into the chariots. Fat. You know, quick. You know, and he, he he gonna come back quick. You know. All right. All right. And a lot of these uh you, you simple niggas out there. All right. You 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 expecting a fucking uh, a red face, blonde hair, blue eye uh, uh faggot man coming back as the Lord man. All right, and that's not the case, man. All right, and uh, this is Revelations 1 and 13. It says, And in the midst of the seven golden candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with the garment down to his foot. All right, so our Lord, he wore a, a, a garment, clothed, a long garment, man, down to his foot, man. All right, and it says, uh, And in the midst, uh, and, and, um, and a girt about the paps with the golden girdle, man, which our Lord wore a solid gold belt across his uh, chest area, man. Stomach, chest area, all right? And it said, and his head and his hair were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes was of a flame of fire, man, all right? And, and that's this picture you see on the screen. That's a true depiction of the Lord, man, all right? We're not saying this is exactly how the Lord looked, who you only call Jesus Christ, but this is the uh, depiction of the, uh, what the scriptures say, man, all right? All right, and um, that's that's this is the this is the depiction that we're, we're going to see, all right? When the return of the Lord come, man, all right? A, a, a dark-skinned man, all right? A dark-skinned man, white woolly hair with red eyes, man, all right? Calm. And he gonna be mad. He gonna be mad, man, all right? Because I got a, I got a precept, a scripture for that. This is uh, Matthew 10, 34. It said, think not that I come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword, man. 
So the Lord not coming in again. Amos five, uh, fifth chapter. Huh? Ain't, the, uh, the Lord is not coming back happy, man. What is a sword, man? A sword is an instrument used for war, man. All right, a sword is a killing instrument, man. All right, the Lord is coming back to uh 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 kill. All right, you people, man. All right, and it says uh verse thirty five. It said, "For I come to set a man various against his father, and the daughter against her mother." And the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law, man. All right, you got all these stupid niggas out here. Especially you niggas in these other Israelite camps, man. Talking about coming together, man. Why are we not coming together? Let's come together, man. You got everybody talking about, let's get a brotherhood. Let's get a sisterhood. All right, the Lord is not coming to bring people together, man. Only people that's going to come together in one mind is the elect, man. We're going to come back to the Lord as one, man. All right, but the Lord is coming to uh, uh, bring uh, separation, man. All right, the Lord is not coming to uh, come together with you niggas, man. All right, the Lord is coming with a sword, and he's coming for, uh, to bring judgment, man. All right, and uh, I got a quick, an another quick scripture, all right? This is uh, Matthew 24 and 34. It said, Verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass to all these things be fulfilled, man. What what things be fulfilled? Prophecy, man. All right, because this is the same generation that crucified Yahweh Shah, man. So all these prophecies gotta come to pass. This generation shall not pass, man. Which means you people gonna feel the you people gonna feel the fire, man. You people gonna feel the you people gonna feel the uh, martial law. Are right? you people gonna feel the famine? All right, you people gonna feel the sword, and you people gonna feel the missiles, man. This, this generation ain't gonna pass, man. To you, to you, to you, to you reap what you sow, man. All right. This uh, this Amos chapter five verse eighteen. Woe unto you that desire the day of Yahweh. Yeah, cause a lot of people desire desire the day of the Lord, man. Especially those nigga women in them churches, man. Everybody, oh, when the Lord come back, you don't even know how the Lord is coming, man. Hey, why would the Lord be happy, man? Why would he come back peacefully, man, and all this fucking homosexuality going on, all this uh, uh, adult, uh, adultery going on, man? False God worshiping, man? All right, you people not even thinking about the Lord, man. All right, why would he come back happy, man? You got women uh, ruling men. You got these uh, so-called men out here that don't know how to be a man. The Lord is showing signs. That he's coming back, man. And you people want to, you people out here lollygagging and playing around, man. Go ahead, huh? To what end is it for you? For what end is it for you, man? Death, man. Because you're not uh, properly preparing for the day of your high body, I was shot, man. So what end is it for you, man? All you people that's talking about when the Lord is coming back, what end is it for you? Especially you other Israelite camps, man. They got the name of the Lord in your mouth, man. But you're not uh, 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 following the Lord's guidelines, man. You're not giving double honors to the apostles and elders, man. The, All right, you misleading, you misleading uh, the Lord's people, man. Especially you damn pastors, man. All right, keep going. Right? The the day of Yahweh is darkness and not light. And the day of the Lord is darkness and not light, man. All right. So the Lord, you're not gonna see. A fucking uh, a, a white devil, all right, coming out of the sky, man, with light around him, man. All right, go ahead, up. Huh? It say, as if a man did flee from a lion in a bear meadow. Hey, it's gonna be so hectic out here, man. All right, you might escape martial law, you might escape the famine, all right. Hey, man, it might be uh, a damn lion on one street, man. You might get up through on that lion, man. You might run right into a martial law troop, man. All right, Spade, because, hey, this is Jacob. This is this time is for really for you for you Israelites out there, man. All right, you might escape a fucking uh, hyena, man, all right? And you might run right into the Ku Klux Klan, man. Hey, man, you might escape one thing, all right? But the Lord got something else set up for you, man. All right, go ahead, uh, that's it. Let's say, or went into the house and leaned his hand on the wall in the serpent biddle. In so many words, man, you're not going to be able to escape, man. You're not going to be able to escape this time that's coming, man. All right? And, hey, let me get a quick scripture, man. It's because you damn pastors out there, man, that's preaching all this prosperity, man. Speaking on the Lord 
and you don't even know what's coming for you. Hey, as a matter of fact, these damn pastors do know, man. Because, hey, in that 5031C, man, it's certain guidelines that you can't teach about, man. All right, so you, you pastors know what's going on, man. Jeremiah 23 and 1, it said, Woe be unto the pastors that destroy the, ske the sheep of my pastors, saith the Lord. Woe be unto the pastors, man. Death and destruction to you pastors out there, man. It said, thus, Therefore, thus said the Lord, God of Israel, against the pastors that feed my people. All right, because you feeding the Lord's people nonsense, man. That ain't, that, that ain't no damn spiritual fool you feeding the Lord's people, man. You misleading them, man. You leading them down. You leading them. Hey, the blind leading the blind, man, as the scriptures say, man. All right. And it says, uh, he has scattered my flock and driven them away and have it not visited them. Behold, I will visit upon you the evil of your doing, said the Lord, man. It's a good reward and it's a bad reward, man. All right. So, hey, the Lord is coming to uh, repay you back for that uh, evil you have done, man. Got anything up? Tom, cause it's also going to be a deliverance. This, um, Matthew chapter 24, verse 30. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn. That's right. And they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And they're they going to be mourning because it's going to be the time of Jacob's trouble, man. You know? But th th then after Jacob's trouble, you know, yeah, yeah. How a shot is gonna come back on them chairs, on them clouds, man, with um power and great glory. And they say, and he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds, from one end of heaven to the other. Right, man. And he go um beam up the the elect will get beamed up, man, across the four corners of the earth, man. But mainly, mainly over here in America. You know, but it's going to be elect members getting being beat up everywhere, man. You know, getting delivered from this place, man. Getting destroyed. All right, there's a... Uh, there's Jeremiah 16 and 4 since the brother uh, got on the topic of deliverance, all right? Because, yeah, the Lord is also, he coming to destroy and to bring deliverance, man, all right? Jeremiah 16 and 4 said, Therefore, behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that it shall no more be said, the Lord liveth, that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt, man. All right, because that's all we speak on now, man, is the deliverance when, when the Lord uh, brought us out of the land of Egypt, man. All right, so the Lord said, hey, it ain't gonna be, this ain't going to be this ain't gonna be said no more. Y'all ain't going to even speak on the deliverance of Egypt no more, man. Why? Because this deliverance is the greatest deliverance ever, man. All right, that's, that's coming, man. All right, verse 6, uh, verse 6. 15 it says but the lord liveth that brought up the children of israel from the land of the north man which the brother made mention of uh this being mainly the the the, the, the prison place of most of the israelites man all right the land of the north which is north america all right and it says um and from all all the lands whether he had driven them and i will bring them again into their land that i gave unto their fathers man so that's speaking on that deliverance man all right, that the Lord is about to bring unto the, uh, the his elect that's uh, spread it all throughout the four corners of the earth, man. All right. And uh, this is um, Isaiah. This is uh, he, this is Isaiah chapter 31 and 5. It said, as birds flying, so will the Lord of hosts defend Jerusalem. Defending, also he will deliver it and passing over, he will preserve it, man. And that's speaking on, uh, you know, the deliverance, man, of the, of, the, of the Lord's elect, man. All right. The Lord's elect is going to be delivered, man. All right. And that's what that word save come into, man. The definition of save means to be uh, rescued from danger, man. To be rescued from destruction, man. All right. So the Lord's elect is, is going to be uh, saved, man. All right. All right, man. And with that, man, we hope this was edifying. We want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shai. By Hashem, we're called Kodash. All right. Double honors again to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Salutations. All right, to you brothers out there that's pushing the sincerity. Shalom. Shalom. Bye, bye, bye.